Hello, and welcome to our third midweek Advent service, where our theme for this evening is wonder. When is the last time you have wondered about the mystery of God, that you have wondered about life, that you have been amazed by what God has done for us. Those will be the themes for this evening. Let us begin our worship. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. hearts in wonder, O God. May we wear a mantle of praise as we delight in your gift of salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us read Psalm 126 responsively. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. 
Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Faithful God, like a grain of wheat falling into the earth, your son went into death, so that after three days the earth might bloom with the joy of his rising. Let the seeds of justice, which we plant with tears, bring forth the power of the resurrection in the places of death and despair, and gather us at last into the joyful harvest of the saints. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from Isaiah, the 61st chapter. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the, ru the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bride decks him, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. For our reflection this evening, let us ponder the following questions. What word or image or phrase stands out for you in this reading? Where will you look for God's glory? Where do you engage in wonder at God's creation? in wonder at the love, grace, and forgiveness of Christ, in wonder at the transforming work of the Holy Spirit.
Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. And let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Even as we wait, watch, and wonder, God is with us. This concludes our service for this evening. I pray that you are safe and warm and surrounded by those who love you as we face the storm this evening. Good night.